So we're recording right now? Uh-huh. Right now. Right now. Wait, what part of the movie are we in? We're right now, sir. Wait. Right now? So hey, everybody, guess what? New Pokemon's about to come out. So, there's been a lot of talk about this, at least in the Pokemon circles, due to how many new things are coming out. And while I'm gonna about to gush about all the cool stuff, I'm going to take a moment first here to just a general kind of huh to some groups of people out there that are like, they're adding too many new things. They're changing too much. And my first thought is, isn't everybody's first complaint about Pokemon is that they literally, like, release the same game over and over? And then when they start releasing all this new stuff and trying to change things, there's people going immediately, wait, now they're changing too much stuff, and I don't like that either. What? Make up your damn minds. First, you're like, it's all formulaic and the same, and then, yes, the very same people are going, well, now they're changing too many things, and... They basically just can't ever make me happy. That, that's what that sounds like. And like I've said before in other videos, sometimes fans are the worst problems with anything. <laughs> but just enjoy the fucking game. I think that's how I'm going to conclude that little bit. It's a game. Buy it or don't. Enjoy it. It's there for you to play. Don't, don't overcomplicate it. Now for the rest of us who are just like, hey, it's a new Pokemon. We want to give Pokemon all of our money forever because we signed that contract as kids. They're actually giving us new shit, right? That's different and not just more of the same thing with different palettes and shapes. Like, a fairy water starter? Yes. Like, I'm all about that. That's, that's what I'm going to pick. I mean, I've already picked water type since forever, but... I think this is the first generation where I was actually a little tempted to pick one of the other ones. Hello, Fire Dark. I like that combination. But Water Fairy, and that thing's just adorable. So, yeah. With all the new stuff that they're putting out there for this, I'm really interested to see what happens in the competitive scene. More than the game itself, almost. I mean, you know, the game itself's gonna be awesome. I'm probably gonna waste far too much of my fucking time on it. But the competitive scene is sort of where I get the most enjoyment out of it. And with so many different elements, I know just the mega evolution sort of completely overhauled the entire meta game in the competitive scene, especially on Showdown. And that was good. That was fun. It made it interesting. For the first time in a long time, people had to seriously reevaluate where the whole structure of the metagame was. Hey, formerly unremarkable Pokemon could now, with one item put on it, become a high level player potentially. Now the metagame has to be experimented with. People are now rewarded for playing with things that were previously considered unusable. And new things happened, and changes were made, and to me that's great. And to me that's what I think this game is going to really do more than perhaps just change, I think, what we can expect from the Pokemon after this game. Yeah, I'm already, it, it isn't even out yet, and I'm already talking about the one that's going to come next, but... Think about it for a second. If this is what they're trying to do now, is give us so many different options and choices and changes, you can do your wardrobe, all sorts of shit, right? They just want to give you the ability, it seems like, to just more fully do shit in the world of pretty much all types. Hey, people like to ride Pokemon. Here's more riding Pokemon. Hey, you like doing this. Hey, here's more of that. It's, it seems like it's more of everything. Except, you know, Mega Evolutions. That seems to be lacking this time around. But, hey, with everything else they're giving us, you know, I think we can deal. But... Really, there is no point to this video other than, holy shit, there's a new Pokemon coming out, and they're giving us basically tons of new everything, lots of choices and options, and Z-moves, like, they, they are also kind of like, hey, let's just make this look more anime. And by the way, have you noticed that the 3DS can um, actually look pretty sweet graphically? Just wanted to remind you of that with this game. You seen any of the footage? That shit looks good. The moves look nice. I remember from Gen 1, Hyper Beam, a swirl of dots, and then a line hits the enemy with a big flash. <laughs> Versus now. Wow, right? 
hell of a change. <laughs> so, really, just go out there and buy the fucking game. You know you want it. If you're watching this video, you probably already want it. So, hey, and maybe once it comes out, I could put out my friend code. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it?